How does BTP help basis consultants? That's well, the article. Uh, uh, well, uh, I can take this question. Like um, uh, the the first of all, uh, um, as a basis architect, the the mindset ha has to be changed. So, in a in a traditional world, you are probably talking about more. Um, system architecture, then sizing and network and all this. Compared to that, a lot of the things in the cloud world is given as service. You are not going to do like, let's say PAM uh, and, and sizing metrics and all. Rather, you would more concentrate on the network and security part of it, because now you are opening up the door in the open internet. So uh, you have to have the high standards on the security and follow the best practices for that. And there are certain, uh, I, I'd say uh, the, the job role uh, from the thought process as well as the task also has changed a bit uh, in terms of like, let's say in the traditional world, you used to do a sizing of a hardware and then run installation of a uh, SAP system. Now probably you don't have to do that, but on the other hand, suppose you are actually configuring the central launchpad on BTP, that requires principal propagation, uh, content uh, delivery model, um, all the network setups, cloud connector setup, all this new setup has come under the umbrella of uh, the, the basis guy. So the job responsibility is there, but the- Change it. <laughs> the, the traditional basis person, that that role doesn't exist in BTP because there's nothing to install, there's nothing to upgrade. It's all available for you to consume, right? Yeah. But like Shibaji said, the role has changed. So you need to adapt, you need to change with the change in technology. 